to the Palutena, which I love to see as a Palutena player. And Upside Down, ironically enough, has always claimed that this matchup is even, and that yeah. he's good at the matchup. So. Oh, I'm excited to see. I'm really shocked this is even. It just feels like Palu just has like so many neutral tools to punish Robin's. Uh, I guess just really everything besides what? whatever that he has. Levin Sword. One good thing I will say about the matchup for uh, Robin is that the anti airs, right? Usually Nair is such like an oppressive force. You can get out those Robin forward airs to kind of stuff out the Palutena air to airs. But this is where the issue is going to be. When, when you when you have Robin in the corner, like she doesn't obviously have great mobility, no good options to get out. So. Um, but I think Robin actually will be killing on average a lot earlier than Palutena. Oh, um, because okay. even if you nair her recovery, it's pretty free. Ooh, but it's like yeah. it won't be killing till like 150. And I guess uh, I guess the lead trapping too is like pretty. Oh, okay. See, see, and now that's my thing. I feel like Palu just has like Ooh. so, like just her lead trapping is so oppressive. Just if Chase can consistently keep him at ledge, I mean, like what he's gonna do is gonna run out of resources. So yeah, well that was really unfortunate because um, upside down going for kind of an early jump to get back here and die at a hundred percent. And if you're dying at a hundred percent against Palutena, that's not good. Like yeah. you gotta be forcing the stocks as late as possible because when she gets a lead. It's very, very hard to take it back. However, upside down doing a very good, good job responding now has some decent damage. Can oh, get the arc fire into double arc fire into back air, but oh. the Levin sword unfortunately um, goes away. Bronze not going to do it with the back air. Yeah, God, man, I really thought that he was going to go for an up air there, or at least Levin sword was going to be active, but yeah. no, not going to. Oh, okay, good, good, good. I'm very glad he avoided that. Just so. really, really bad timing. That's just part of the Robin experience, though. Sometimes yeah. you run into resources at the worst time, right? Um, so I yeah. mean, 84 percent, nothing too bad, right? Um, like I said, you can. Definitely pull out a, a Palu stock to 130, 150 if you don't waste a resource or do something um, reckless. So he's definitely not a decent spot right now. But um, see if he can keep up here, though. I wonder really like what Upside Down's game plan is against Palu. Like, what do you try to abuse? Rage. <laughs> like, Rage? Because you're just going to be at these higher percents a lot of the time, and you just have to find a way to... If you do score that hit, like, he, he got the hit. He just didn't have the Levin Sword. He didn't manage the resource, and you can't yeah. be doing those kind of chip projectiles for free. That's exactly what the power wants, is just to fire off the explosive flame as you fire a projectile. Oh yeah, it's super safe, especially if you're far away. I mean, even at ledge too, um, if they come up with it. That was something that you told me, and I, uh, actually uh, Zai did as well. So I haven't seen Chase do it this set yet, but I, I wouldn't be shocked if he did. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, he has to watch in that mid-range. Can't be throwing out those baby thunders for free. That's <laughs> definitely going to be very exploitable. Oh uh, my god, yeah. Yeah, because some matchups, you can just chuck it out for free, basically, and it's annoying yeah. to approach. But. Really really like the patience from Chase there. Got arc fired, but didn't do anything reckless to allow upside down to get the punish. Ooh, but oh. co recover high there. It's very hard to down tilt Robin. Oh, Asia. my God. Yeah. Oh, that was so close, dude. Holy crap. I felt that. Uh, that was a really good read, but I'm not sure if it was, like, the range or he just barely mistimed it. But, okay, so he's got 11 sword not out for a little bit. Yeah, but still, I mean, down a whole stock here. He's been out the corner a lot of the set. Going to catch that neutral get up. Oh, unfortunately, oh. read the air dodge, but it's just very hard to convert off uh, that drift away. But uh, you know that Chase is kind of in his head right now. Oh, yeah, for sure. He's definitely reading his defensive options pretty well. I was actually shocked he didn't go for a back air there because it looked like since he baited the air dodge, that was going to be it. But maybe he just wanted to go for a little bit more pizzazz. He's got the stock lead. You're at a you're at a uh, out of state local. Go for the pizzazz. <laughs> yeah. Increase your Twitter highlight reel, man. Oh yeah, dude. Maybe this guy's gonna have to campaign. What region is he from? SoCal. He's number one in SoCal. SoCal. Yeah. No, no, not only from so literally number one. <laughs> so is it like across the whole state? Yeah. No, well, Southern like California. So it's like a lot of different counties. Oh, okay, gotcha. Who's NorCal? Who's number one in NorCal? Louis Money. Louis Money, gotcha. So yeah. So two Palos then, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and there's there's like four or five dominant palos in SoCal. It's like the home of the palos. Do uh, have Chase in them and Louis Money play? Not sure. They did team together at low tide. I believe they got second, if not won it. Double pal palu? Yeah, they mixed around with that at some other matchups. Oh, wow. It was pretty crazy to watch. Okay, so taking him to the town and city, I'd imagine just so he can kill off the side a lot easier. Yes. I think, uh, like, you get 11 back air, 11 forward air. Makes sense. Um, but unfortunately, that's going to allow that power back air to kill her there, too. So it is a double edged sword, right? Um, but yeah, we should be kind of expecting this, honestly. Palutena is just so many better tools in neutral. Like, he, he's going to get the percentage lead, like, most of the time. But that's just kind of what upside down is to expect. Got to build the rage. You can definitely have a lot of comeback potential with Robin if you stay patient. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. And Robin definitely has the tool to do that. I mean, especially with the rage and just the, how strong her projectiles are. 
Except it's just it's just so hard to get something done because I feel like he needs to get uh, Chase in a really bad spot, which he just really hasn't been able to. Yeah, I mean, the pressure's been outstanding. Um, forcing the air dodge in from upside down, just so much pressure being applied. Yeah. Dude, it's just like he knows what he's going to do. Yeah, I mean, it's just a co very common option to do the jump fair. Yeah. Um, he can just wait out with that invincible backer. You don't even worry about trading. Wow, yeah. Because, I mean, he can just probably throw it out again, actually, after you land. Yeah. You catch an air dodge or something. So, so I mean, right now, Chase kind of playing to his win uh, cons just by perfection here. Just keeping this Robin off stage where he can't hurt you, where he can't quote unquote cheese you. And, you know, we're going to see some, we're going to need to see some high momentum plays. I mean, only 30% of pride right now. It has been brutal. Yeah, no, he's definitely been very dominant this game. And one thing I would like to see, okay. See, this is what I would like to see from Upside Down is just the mix-ups on his timing and options from the ledge specifically. I know he's been getting ledge trap a lot, and Chase definitely looks out for those habits. Uh, he was doing a lot of neutral get-ups, so I think he's mixing it up a little bit, but definitely I think he should be aware for it next time he plays a Palo or anything. The neutral get-ups have been getting really exploited, and then the one time he didn't, he was kind of ready for the ledge trap bear, punished it with the back air earlier. Yeah. So it's just like you said, all, and on top of him, he knows he wants that refuge at that top platform. Going to be all over that only 53%. Chase is, <laughs> he's, he's relaxing right now. Now he has his platform extension too. He wants the three stock. He wants to, you know, maybe have some SoCal people in the, in the chat right now just enjoying. Hey, man, this is, now he's doing this to you guys. <laughs> you guys enjoy this. Okay, let's see. I want, I want Upside Down to get one stock up on the board here, but it's just looking super hard. Are we going to see a down air? I feel like we are. <laughs> I mean, I would do it if I was him. Let's see what sauce he provides for dinner tonight. Um, okay. Okay, just going to, you know, trade projectiles here. Okay, finally gets an arc fire to go. And okay. All right, got one on the board. Going to catch that thunder up on the top left, um, you know. It's, it's crazier comebacks have happened, right? I mean, oh, oh my god. Oh, my god. And this pressure, man. I mean, just like in his head, that tomahawk was so smart. Yeah. But awareness to have the platform on there definitely strong.